Hi, my sweet friends, and welcome back to Crochet Every Day with Judy. Just a quick video today to show you um, one, two finished objects and a couple of whips. First uh, finished object um, is a hat, and the pattern is by Gigi the Crochet Queen. Um, she uh, She's amazing. She has beautiful patterns and she has a tutorial for this. Now I used a Just Yarn um, uh, flowers, but this isn't the colorway. It was a little bit lighter. And here is the hat. It's called the Hydrangea. Uh, well, it's called an easy slouch hat, but it has what she calls a Hydrangea pattern here on the top of it. And um, I'll put it on, but I'd look awful in hats. So um, here it is. I made it actually a little bit small, but um, there's the slouch that you can see. So, uh, as I said, I don't look good in hats, but that's okay. So I paired it, uh, I used actually the whole skein of yarn, um, of the Just Yarn flowers, but there are only 111 yards in it. So it didn't take much to use it up. And then I added some, uh, uh, Red Heart Super Saver in light blue on the bottom. So that's the finished one finished object. The next one, this had been a whip that I started probably, oh gosh, could have been as much as 12 years ago. Um, and it's made from Lion Brand Fun Fur, which is a faux fur, of course, like an eyelash yarn, and some TLC Amore, which is a discontinued yarn, and it's a number four weight, and I held uh, a strand of each together and I was going to make what I call a stole, a, a long rectangular shawl, but, a, but being fancy like this, it would be a stole. I, 12 years ago, my eyes were much better and um, <laughs> so I was having a lot of trouble seeing, even in the daytime. So what I did was I just stopped where I was and sewed it up together and made it into a cowl. So. Here it is. Here is the fun fur cowl. Nice and warm, soft, cuddly, comfy. Oh, it's great. So anyway, that's my other finished object. Then I have two. Okay, here's a whip that I started, I'm thinking about 10 years ago. Um, the pattern, I don't have in front of me, but it is, uh, I believe, a Yarnspirations pattern. Um, there's these mo motifs that you sew together, and there are four of them. And then they have little triangles that are put in, uh, in between the motifs, and corners, triangles. And then you start the blanket part. So um, here it is. There are four motifs in this so it's not all that wide I would say about uh, five feet wide um, so it'll go across our our queen size bed probably just lay across the top of it um, but it ought to be nice and warm when I finish with it so that is a whip um, that I'm finishing up off my long list of whips. Then I started a new pattern. Um, it's called a split wrap. And right now I've just started it one side of it, so I haven't split yet. It's kind of like a Ruana, which is uh, long in the back and then long in the front on each side. Uh, sometimes can have short sleeves on it. But this one I am making from Shawl in a Ball in Pastel Pixie. There is the um, little colorway that they show how it looks up, how it looks when it's worked up, probably knitted. But I'm loving the colors in this. And it's sparkly, which is my favorite kind of yarn, sparkly yarn. So I am working on that. You chain a hundred and, or you do a foundation chain of 170 uh, uh, half double crochets in the foundation row. So anyway, that's my 
other whip that I have going on. And that's all I have to, to do today, although I do want to do a couple of shout outs. Um, there are several channels that are doing uh, hashtag ABC anti-bullying campaign videos and if you can look those up and watch them i will try and link uh one of them uh down below here so that you can check them out um i'm looking at a list of some of them who have done them brenda the newbie crocheter crochet with tiffany hansen the crochet nurse the whip window with rochelle crochet canada left is right crochet with sandy um herb gary from urban yarn um fiber spider did one um so they're just a great series of anti-bullying campaign videos that I encourage you to watch. Uh, bullying is so serious. I've made hats to donate to Lion Brand for their <clears throat> Hat Night Hate anti-bullying campaign. And it's, it's so prevalent. It is almost encouraged and supported and okay it seems to bully now one of the videos I'm trying to remember who um i can't remember which video of these it was in but one of the um content creators said that um uh, that well they all give the wikipedia uh definition of it but one of them gave such a personal story that it really touched me. It is way too prevalent, bullying in our society. So please watch these videos and um, su subscribe to those channels because they all have great content. Um, that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching and I appreciate and love every one of you. Thank you for getting me to where I am right now. And I hope you will continue to watch my videos, subscribe to my channel, like the video comment down below i'd love to hear what you think anytime um and always remember that you are the light of the world so be sure to let your light shine because you never know when someone else might need your light to get them through their darkness so thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye